All right, and so that'll take us right into the main card of this very fun fight card. It looks First one amazing of 2021, so homeboy. I love you. Oh, oh, yeah, man. It's going to be a beauty. So here we got a nice middleweight bout. We got Punahale Suriano taking on Dusko, 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 Dusko Tadorovic. Tadorovic, mm -hmm. that's it. Yeah, Tadorovic, that's my man. All right, so we got Punahale out of Hawaii, something that we're very big fans of. You know, he made his UFC debut back in December of 2019, actually. So he didn't fight in the year of 2020. Uh, but he did win with a mean left hook against Oscar Pechoya, I believe. And, uh, you know, one thing I noticed about this guy as well is he seems to finish most of his fights. You know, th there's not a lot that goes to decision here. Mm -hmm. Dusko on the flip side, you know, he made his UFC debut against Taquan Townsend. I'm sure we remember that fight pretty well. <laughs> um, yeah, and so, you know, he came off of his Dana White Contender Series win against Teddy Ash. Mm -hmm. uh, his victory against Townsend, it was really impressive, man. Knockout in the second round. Uh, and, you know, just diving back into his archives, he actually beat Michael Pereira in the Serbian battle competition as well, <laughs> or championship or whatever it may be. So. And, and uh, we, we recently saw him be very impressive as well. So uh, looking forward to see what you have in store for these guys. Yeah, it was against our boy, right? KO. Chaos. Yeah. yeah. All right. that, that, was, so. that, was, that, was, that was a good fight. It was, it was a really interesting fight, but unfortunately, you know, it... it I mean, math, right? Like it goes, it goes in, in a certain way and kudos to both guys. We're going to see them around for a long time, I think. For sure. And that's one of the most interesting fighters, Mikel Pereira. That is just <laughs> entertainment to the max. You can't go wrong with that. But let's dive into these <laughs> mans right now. The one thing I love, you know, about, about our boy, uh, Dusko, Dusko, Dusko is the way you say the first name, first of all. But like, you know, we've seen him fight Decon Townsend. The one thing kind of slow, right? I, I don't know. I, I Speed wise, I want to see a bit more as you get to the higher ranks because you won't be able to keep up with with some of the best fighters in that division. I think that Quan Townsend showed a lot in his career as a UFC fighter, but you have to you have to do better against tougher competition. You know, the one thing I love about mm -hmm. Punahale Soriano is the speed, man. He kind of showed that, right? He came in real quick. Both guys are undefeated, but it all depends on competition, in my opinion. Yeah. And one thing I will say is Oscar Piochota. <laughs> that's actually really well done. Uh, that hook, bro. That hook. That that hook was devastating. Yeah, absolutely devastating. Uh, I, I liked the the athleticism. I liked the speed, footwork. He got that so clean, and I and I think that's going to be a tough fight for for for, for, for our boy Dusko, Dusko, Dusko. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And so, in terms of Vegas lines, where do you see it going here? I'd like to. Th I think Dusko still would get the edge as a favorite. I think he has he has some time to, to, to show for himself. You know, it's been a long time since we saw uh, our boy uh, Punahale Soriano fight. You know, it, it's been since 2009. That's a long time to be away from, from the Octagon, you know, let alone UFC competition in that sense. So let's go Dusko Dusko with a minus 200. Ooh, a, t a tad high for Mr. Dusko there, a tad okay. high. So tad high. what's interesting about this line movement is that it actually opened as a pick -em. So it was minus 110 both ways, okay? There was actually no favorite. If I look at it today, right now, Dusko is a minus 160. So it has moved 50 basis points since 24 hours, maybe 48 hours. Yeah, so like the interesting is, you know, when you look at who Dusko is fighting versus Punahale, especially the time period. I, I guess that plays such a much plays a much bigger role than you would think. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I still like what we saw from, from Punahale in in those early fights back in the day. So I think we have to roll. Uh, the rolling on the dice on this one is really tough, right? I don't know if we can call yeah. it. the MMA math is it, just so hard. So plus plus one thirty on Punahale. Any mm -hmm. any props you want to explore? Any of that kind of stuff? You know what's interesting about this fight is I do want to consider the unders. Like I think these guys are going to go in in a way to try to finish, but at the same time, you know I think there's going to be juice. Do you have some juice to show me? So under one and a half is plus one twenty. So midway point of the fight is plus one twenty. Uh, the fight to actually go the full distance is plus 162. So no know, it, it seems like, uh, yeah, they're, they're expected the under two and a half is minus 163. So it's looking like, price. you know, yeah. See, this, see, this fight is just very dangerous. I think you could tell in my tone. I, I've been, you know, it's one of those things where you, it's just very scary. I, I think it's going to be those fights where, you know, as a fight fan, I'm going to love it. Let's just say, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be more, um, uh, what we call non-public money. 
a lot of that degenerate, yeah, it, 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 a lot of in, degenerate enjoyment stuff. exactly yeah, 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 enjoyment yeah, yeah. so sprinkle 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 <laughs> yeah and again make sure you check out our betting videos we clearly define in the sprinkles these should not be units they should not have any sort of weight these are your fun they go in the same bucket as parlays you know what i mean mm-hmm. you should not be betting a house on a parlay ever. <laughs> and the big thing about this card is we're so early that pies and i are considering making a quick little hitter video where a lot of these things are going to get updated let's talk about wins let's talk about things like that if that's a possibility we want to explore it and so these are these, these fights are a little bit ways out who knows if they'll happen you know and i think that's yeah. something we're gonna have to explore soon yeah, you said it best. I mean, it is eight to nine days out. And so even the line movement that'll exist in the next week or so, we'll probably have a role to play. You know, pies and them lines never stop thinking. Ticka, 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 ticka. <laughs> For sure. So, you know, that wraps up UFC Fight Island 7. It's going to be a great card. Can't wait for this one. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button. We got our Instagram, our Twitter, all that information there. Give us a shout. We look forward to hearing from you. Siraj, always a beauty, man. Always a beauty, man. I can't believe the first card of the year went so well. I I literally have goosebumps for the last hour. It's like freezing cold in here. You know, I just, yeah, I'm so excited. We got it. We got it done really early. We're going to be able to maybe analyze some lines based on, you know, weigh-ins and all those kinds of things. Maybe there's some late minute changes. Who knows? You know, we're going to have to keep our ear to the ground and just keep it rolling. Baby, you know what time it is. For sure. Stay tuned for that content. So let's go, bro. Let's go, baby. Keep it real. Keep it locked. Peace.